What's going on everyone? I'm Guns for Hire and welcome to the gun shop. Shinji Mikami, which I'm sure I'm not saying that name properly, the creator of Resident Evil, has basically said that Microsoft has caught up with some tweaks. They've tweaked their system to the point where the differences in terms of performance between the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One are negligible now. That there there is no difference. I mean before and maybe you guys didn't know this, or maybe, you know, you always get the denial, like, no, it's not, it's got this. No one in the industry, not, not even Microsoft, disputed the fact that the hardware specs in the PlayStation 4 were slightly better than what was in the Xbox One. And this is, you know, and then Microsoft basically, I guess, once PlayStation made those announcements, it was the decision of Microsoft before going into production of the Xbox One to tweak it. So they increased the processing power by, I think, was it the GPU? I don't know. It's one of them. It was either the CPU or the GPU by 6%. And it's bringing that line, that difference between performance of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One really, really close. But here's the thing. Even if they didn't tweak it, even if they didn't bring it up by a whole 6%, going that much better, like, ah, oh, we're really close to what the play, it doesn't matter. With third-party developers, the differences between the games, the major games, you're talking about AAA games, they're going to look so similar across the board, it really doesn't matter. The differences between the PlayStation 4, even if they retain that edge the entire time, you're not going to see it. You're just not going to see it. I mean, the fact is that they're both very similar systems. They're kind of very PC architecture both running the Blu-ray, 50 gigabytes, both have similar capacity. And when third-party developers create these games, you're not going to see much of a difference. The real edge between the two are going to be the games. It's the exclusive. Some of you don't even care about that. You're going to get it because you have friends on one system over the, uh, over the other. I know that's an argument for, for many of you. For me, that has no effect on it. I made a ton of friends on the PlayStation 3 before I did YouTube, just naturally talking with people. If I switch to the Xbox... One, you know, and went away from PlayStation, which I'm not going to be doing, but if I did, I wouldn't be worried about it. I know that I'm going to make friends on there. Not including the fact that, you know, I'm on YouTube and people will send invites, but just because when I'm on there and I'm being social, you naturally pick up people. You're like, oh, you know what, hey, you know what, you're okay. You're okay, dude. Pick it up. If you've made friends, even yourself, if you've made friends on one system when you had none, you obviously have the ability to do the same. So I don't, you know, for me, that's not a factor. But... Using this argument of one system being superior, like it's going to have any impact on third-party games, is ridiculous. It's not going to affect it. It doesn't really matter. I don't care that Microsoft is even below or that they had to tweak it to bring that line up. Maybe they didn't do that. Maybe they just wanted to do that. And they're saying, well, we're even going to do even more tweaks with the cloud server, which is going to offload a lot of, you know, the processes, making your system more efficient. But that doesn't improve the system itself, it's just offloading some of the processes because technically, once Sony gets Gaikai going, which is their cloud service, they could do the same thing. They could offload it, so there's no real advantage there. I know they're trying to make it look like they're catching up, but the differences, even without all of those tweaks, are so negligible it's ridiculous. The games are going to look the same, they're going to perform the same, so these articles and arguing about the hardware differences is ridiculous. It's all about the games. It's about, apparently about the price and those features, you know, stuff like that, uh, the DRM and the used game fees, that was a big thing that hurt Microsoft in the beginning. They've since corrected that. So really, what's making you decide one system over the other? I'm curious.